So similar to the, the bed slash nest that I found down here, um, this I'm definitely more comfortable calling a bed that I've noticed right here where they cross the fence and there's like a blind works behind us where they close the deer drive. And what I'm postulating is this little hiding spot, something smaller, staying down. But one behavior I've, I've seen, and, and I've seen documentaries with uh, apes, chimps, making the, a ground nest when they do, they will pick, follow me, in my, yep. they will pick ferns for some reason and lay on them to sleep. I, I don't know why that is, I'd like to learn, but we find these compression areas that just all the elements are right Right where we're finding this, well, I pulled this out at one bed, and when I grabbed it, it's like if I find that these are loose, plus they were sl they were compressed. What I find very interesting was the stages. Very fresh. You know, it's uh, I don't know, maybe last night. You can see some much older. There's a different timeline on that. Um, and I've collected these before and obtained a ton of hair and dander out of it. And yeah, it's off to the universities finally. But I'm observing this here, so I'm not saying it's a nest. I'm saying it's a bed, a place that these creatures, in particularly little ones, like a babysitting spot, you stay here while we can conduct this, close this drive, and probably, now, now, listen to me here, young man. You sit here and watch this and you learn. And that's what they're doing and maybe even played a role in a uh, part of the clothes. Um, but I find this very interesting and, and, and they look like they're slept on and there's different ages because I'm not saying they drive deer here every day, but uh, Dave and I, we think they're here this week because of things have been happening, pebbles tossed in on us and the indication of this. Oh yeah, and there's this, there's even more again. I mean, look at that. it's got all the right features. There's brown and there's black. And again, uh, don't necessarily feel like this is necessarily off one creature. It could be. They just cross here frequently. And you can see other barbs. This is, if you look at my other videos from uh, April, the April, last April, the April before that, the year before that, Dave, I mean, you'll recognize that tree right there. And there's, I'm always collecting hair off of the spot and it's where they, go in to the blind for the ambush. So this is gonna be my last one because I am out of and of course it's caught from the forest side. I thought I had this loose enough to pull it. Oh yeah. And uh, not on video we already have collected them other ones off of here but that's a nice collection I mean look at the length of that and again I'm gonna put it glove inside glove because it's what I have right now we go up to the truck I'll get it in some paper it's just too freaking rough and long to get down here and spring yeah break neck Look at that. That is so cool. And in they go with all the other ones. Cool, huh? All right, you can cut it.